Well, in a country known for its uh, civil unrest, a TV show is helping bring stability to the Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, the team, locally known as uh, L'Equip, is a soap opera that tackles the tough issues. Season 1 had a weekly viewing audience estimated at 3.4 million people. In part 2 of our special series, viewers Caroline Turner looks at the program's success. When young Ivorians from very different backgrounds find themselves playing on the same football team in L'Equip, the only thing they have in common is their desire to win. In order to score goals, they are forced to overcome their differences and cooperate. Each episode focuses on a different set of issues and challenges. The underlying theme is youth empowerment. This episode focuses on the insults suffered by a man without identity papers. Okay. Okay, that's it for today. Come back tomorrow. No, no, no. I've been here since 3 a.m. and I've paid to be on this list. Tomorrow is not good for me. Okay, what did you say your name was? Abokan. Give me your ID. I don't have any papers. Listen to this. He pretends to have given money, but he has no papers. Paying is not a formal way to get a job. It doesn't matter if you give money. What? Are you stupid? If you are smart, the first thing you do is to get your identity papers. No, no, no. I want my money back. You didn't give your money to me? You didn't give your money to me. I don't want to see you tomorrow. I want my money back. Get him out of here. Using TV to promote positive social change, L'Equip dramatizes cooperative ways of overcoming ethnic, religious, and socioeconomic divisions, reflecting the desire of all Ivorians to live together in peace. Executive producer Deborah Jones explains. I feel very strongly that, that most people want to have peace. Most people want to um, um, live in harmony with their neighbor. They don't necessarily know how. And what we do is, is facilitate ways of teaching them how to do that in a way that's better. And I think, for, um, I think for all donors, I think we need to think about that. Um, because we can't make peace for people. We can't change things for people. The only thing we can do is, is facilitate the opportunity. The plot thickens, but the lesson is hidden within the drama. Bonsoir, monsieur. Good evening, gentlemen. This is a routine check. Your ID papers, please. Yes, good. And are you okay? Good, sir. Your identity papers, please. Boss, about my papers. You don't have any ID papers? Sir, what I'm trying to say is... Step out. Hey, Avey, Napoca, I'm here. They arrested me because I don't have any papers. I didn't do anything wrong. That's how things go in Abidjan. My dad knows the commissioner. He will talk to him. Why were you in prison? I don't have an ID card. What? I don't have an ID card. I have nothing. I want to go to the Sioux Prefecture to get my papers done. It's really difficult to travel. You can't get it anymore because you missed the deadline. Birth registration is made within three months of birth. Are you telling me I will live without my ID papers? You have another chance to get your papers. It is the public court. What? The public court. What is this public court all about? It's for folks like Abuka who don't have papers. It gives them judgment. With that, they can get their ID cards. So can anyone go there? It's for those that were born in Ivory Coast, but were never registered. Also, you must be over 13 years old. If you meet these conditions, you go to your birthplace to get registered. What do you need when you go there? You go with a witness who is older than you. You're given papers on the spot, which you complete. Afterwards, you're given your papers. It's as easy as all that? How much does this cost? It is free. Yes, the public court is your right. I know we've had success now. I mean, I know in some of the countries, I know people are, have embraced these ideas of common ground and they're acting on it. And when I see them act on it, then I know we've been successful. 
Will it be long term? That's the great question. I don't know. The show attributes its success to engaging young people. I think the show can be a, really a voice for a generation because these are young people and they really want to have, a, they really want to say something. How are they going to move their countries forward? These are people who are artists who, who, you know, how artists are always a reflection of society and it gives other people the opportunity when they see the show to comment on it, right? We have huge Facebook success, we have lots of SMS. We're using as much social media as possible. So we have a real engagement with the audience. And that's actually quite exciting. Lee Quip encourages a greater commitment by both civil society and the government to the country's process of democratization, strengthening of rule of law, poverty reduction, and other pressing issues. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.